So it's my last official day in the house and I had my last night's sleep, my last morning session and today I move away and it's mixed feelings but the thing amidst the panic attacks at 3 a.m. <laughs> that I tried to remember or tried to remind myself this morning and that I hope we all can remember as the world is just changing so rapidly is that my house is not my home and um, I'm, I'm literally taking my home with me. We're supposed to make it in our heart, but I just figured out I'm making that a metaphor as I drag my trailer home with me. But our home is in our heart, and it's with the people. And it's been an incredible last um, few weeks in terms of the of people coming and things finding the right place and everything really coming together. Um, so I have a little surprise later as a kind of final act of letting go. And... Um, as I've let go of almost everything, although as you saw, my trailer's a little bit full. <laughs> so soon I take off, and I just wanted to document this last day and say goodbye to my beautiful mountains. So we're looking at our mountains. This is my view every morning. So it's going to be really different not seeing this. I've been really blessed with a beautiful, beautiful life. Um, but more to come. Hi, I just wanted to do one more goodbye from inside the house. This is where I shot all my other videos. As you can see, there's no light left. There's nothing on the walls. There's nothing behind me. As you can see, I am totally empty. <laughs> has a weird hollowy echoey sound um, but but we are closing in so things are almost done so everything's out of the house and I have one thing left that I could not find a home or a place for and it's something that's been in my family for three generations and I found out that it is worth in today's market about ten dollars and so it's hard to take a memory and just take it to the dump or to um, you can't even really give these things away. So I wanted to have a symbolic act that would really um, be a be symbolic of this process of really letting go because it's more, as the world is changing, we're not just letting go of our stuff, but we're letting go of the past ways that we have been. And as I said just a few minutes ago, our house isn't really our home. Our home is in our heart. Our home is in our spirit. And that's really, I think, the lesson with all these changes in the world. So here is my final act of letting go of the old world. Can I get you to say hi? Hi. I'm William Tower, the most amazing eagle carver in the world. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm about to do that special thing I was telling you about as my last act of letting go of the old life. think about me asking you to do this? Um, I really didn't. Didn't think about it. 
Okay. I just figured I'd start my chainsaw and do some cut. <laughs> <laughs> Easy task. There's something happening here. If you don't take the top off, you can't see What it is <laughs> ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun in his hand telling me I've got to be well. I think we better stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Their battle lines being drawn. Nobody's right if Donald Rumsfeld is wrong. I said, young people speak in their minds. They're getting so much resistance from behind. I said, we stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody knows what's going down. What a field day for the heat A thousand people in the street Singing songs and carrying signs Saying hooray for our side I think we're gonna stop children What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Say goodbye to the mountains. What's going down? Children, what's that sound? Everybody.